I've been shopping with Wooden and Brasswind since probably the internet started. <laughs> um, it, I used to order my Van Doren reads from woodwindbrasswind.com, <laughs> which is cool and awesome now. Um, it's weird to be in that role now and be on the cover and uh, be mentoring those kids and see that in them and I, it, did, it feels like yesterday that I was like 12 and learning how to you know put the read on and all this stuff and um, it, it's weird finding yourself in that place of mentorship but that extends to you know being on the cover of a magazine or releasing an album or anything like that. jazz musician is a, a hard decision and it's one that you make every day. Um, I think that playing any instrument, choosing to be a musician, choosing to be an artist, you know, everything I do is so that I can make music um, because it's not something that is written. You know, there's no script for the life. There's no job application. There's nobody telling you like, oh, you know, you can get a raise if you do this X amount of work. So it's really just I'm putting in this work for myself because I know that I owe it to myself to be the best musician I can be. But I also want to add that, you know, being a woman instrumentalist has added an extra layer of adversity and it's not something that, um, you say like, oh, I'm, you know, it's so hard to be a woman in jazz. It, but it really is and it, it starts from being a girl playing a saxophone when you're nine years old because it defies expectations and anything in society that defies expectations is going to be something that you're hitting and going up against. I got lucky that I'm super stubborn <laughs> and um, and that I'm, I, I grew up in an atmosphere with my parents and coming from Seattle where the individual is celebrated and um, and doing something unexpected is celebrated and kind of challenging authority is celebrated. So these things were lucky that I, I had those values being raised because I need them definitely to be a woman in this industry. Finding your voice in an instrument is a lifelong process. Um, and it starts the moment you pick up the instrument. And there's something to be said for your physical makeup that's always gonna make you sound like you. So you really have to experiment with a lot of stuff to find something that lets you sound like you. And I think that's also um, something to keep in mind when you try out different types of equipment is what do you put on your instrument that makes you feel like you instantly? The more you know, the more you have to choose from. So listening is a big part of your voice, even though it's not playing, the more you listen to, the more you know what you want to sound like. Learning solos is a huge part of that process of finding your voice. Um, you should never be afraid to learn a solo or learn to sound like someone else um, because you'll never sound like anyone else, even if you try. Even if you get really close, you're never going to sound like someone else. So the more you have in your repertoire, the more choice it becomes what you want to be and who you want to be and what you want to sound like.